One of baseball's greatest players and one of its greatest power hitters has died. Hank Aaron has passed away at the age of 86. Tonight, Leon Bibb takes a look back at his life. Henry Louis Aaron was raised in Mobile, Alabama. The house he grew up in is now a museum bearing his name. Aaron decided to become a baseball player at the age of 14 when his dad took him to watch Jackie Robinson play. In 1951, at 17, he quit high school to play for the Negro Baseball League's Indianapolis Clowns. By 1954, the player who would one day be known as Hamron Hank broke into the major leagues. Over the next 20 seasons, he hit at least 30 homers 15 times, 40 or more homers seven times. In 1971, Aaron had a career year and started to think about his place in baseball history. I hit uh, 47 home runs, more home runs than I ever hit in my baseball career. It was one reason why uh, I thought at that time that I had a chance to break Babe Ruth's record. Aaron tied Ruth's record of 714 homers on opening day in 1974 and broke it four days later. Here's the pitch by Downing. Swinging. There's a drive into left center field. That ball is going to be out of here. It's gone. It's 715. Hank Aaron retired in 1976 with 755 home runs. He moved into the Braves' front office as vice president and was elected into the Hall of Fame in 1982. A longtime supporter of civil rights organizations, he co-founded the Hank Aaron Chasing the Dream Foundation, helping children develop their potential. And he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2002. Hank Aaron will be remembered as a hardworking, quiet man who worked magic with a baseball bat. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb. Hammer and Hank. He was also a longtime Cleveland Browns fan. In fact, in ESPN's Believe Land documentary, he revealed he spent a lot of time in the dog pound in Cleveland Municipal Stadium supporting the team. The word is he would fly in from Atlanta, go to the game, and fly back.